Hello friends, this is Priyanka. Today we are going to solve a problem on orthographic projection by the first angle projection method. So let us first observe what is the given three dimensional object. So if we observe this object, there are two sets that is the right hand side and left hand side for the given object. Now we have to measure what is the length for this given object. So if we observe the right hand side, what is the total length on the right hand side? That is 30 plus 30 and on the both sides there is the curvatures having R15. So we have to add this radius R15 for two times. That is 30 plus 30 plus 2 into 15. That is 30. So what is the total length? That is 90 millimeter. And what is the total length on the left hand side? So on the left hand side, there is only the curvature or semicircular structure having R15. That is, we have to take its diameter that is 30 millimeter. So what is the maximum length here? That is 90 millimeter. That is on the right hand side, there is the maximum length. So in the first angle projection method, the front view is considered as the principal view. So we have to consider the right hand side as a front view. Now we will measure what is the height. So height from the base up to the center of circle it is given 44 millimeter. And above that there is 520 that means radius of that circular structure is 10. So we will add here 44 plus 10 that is 54 millimeter. So we will say height is 54 millimeter. So in this way the length, height and width is getting decided. Now how to plot the orthographic projection. So for that we have to take here the horizontal line as a x axis and vertical line as a y axis. There should be some sufficient distance in between the front view, top view and side view. So we will keep here some space above and below of this x axis and on both sides of the y axis. So this space should be constant. So you, you can take here the 1 cm space or 2 cm space. So here we have to select the point that is on 1 cm on both sides of the x and y axis and keep the lines parallel to x axis and parallel to y axis. Now when we observe this object from the front or from the right hand side then we can see clearly what is the total length and what is the total height. So this front view is on the right hand side of the object so we have to plot here the front view on the left hand side. So because of y axis here is the right hand side and this is the left hand side. So here total number of quadrants are 4. This is the first quadrant, second quadrant, third quadrant and fourth quadrant. So this first and fourth quadrant are on the right hand side and this second and fourth quadrant are on the left hand side. So we will take here and on the left hand side this will be our front view. So we have to take what is the total length and what is the total height. So we will first draw the outline. So total length is 90 millimeter. So on the horizontal line we will select here the distance 90 millimeter and height 54 millimeter. So in this way we will complete this block and this will be the outline of the front view. Now we will move for the top view. So this top view is getting vertically aligned with the front view. So we have to project the line that is the outline of this front view from front view to the top view. So this length is getting aligned, length of the front view is getting aligned with this top view. Now when we see the object from the top, what we can see clearly, we can clearly see the total length and what is the total width. So what is the width here that is 30 millimeter. So we have to take here the distance 30 millimeter and we will complete this block. So it will be our top view. So we have to write here as a top view. Now for the next we have to complete the side view. So side view is getting horizontally aligned with the front view. So we have to project this line from the front view to the side view in this horizontal direction. Now when we observe this object from this side we can clearly see what is the total width and what is the total height. So this height is getting aligned from the front view to the side view. Now we can select here the width or we can project this width from the top view to the side view. So how to project? So in this fourth quadrant we have to make here the line which will split this fourth quadrant into two equal parts that is this angle will be 45 degree and then we will project this line up to this 
line and here will be the point of intersection and from that point of intersection we will draw the vertical line for this side view so this will be the outline of the side view now we will first complete the front view because the front view is considered as, considered as the principal view so we will move for the front view so if we observe there is the base having the height of 6 mm so we will draw first that base so we will take in the compass what is the distance that is 6 mm and we will complete here so on the both side we will take this distance and we will complete this line Now if we observe there is the semicircular structure and then uh, at the top there is also the circular construction or structure is there. Now this circles having the center passing through the middle point. So we have to select what is the middle point for this whole length. So for this whole length, the length is 90 millimeter. So we will consider here what is the middle point. So here is the middle point now there is the center that will be passing through the middle point. So we have to extend this we have to draw a one vertical line passing through this middle point. So how to draw so the center of this circle and semicircle lie on this line. So we have to draw this line in the form of dash and dot. So we will draw the vertical line parallel to the y axis. So in the form of dash and dot so we can project this line in the top view also because this is the vertical line. So on this line the semicircle and circle structure is there. So if we observe here is the center of the semicircle. So the center of the semicircular structure base uh, lies on this base line. So this is the base line. So here will be the center. So we will select this center and draw the two semicircles having R12 and R18. So we will take the distance radius is equal to 12 millimeter and radius is equal to 18 millimeter in the compass and we have to draw the two semicircles here in the same way there is at the top with this same vertical line there is the circle is there so what is the radius of this circle so radius for this circle here 5 that means diameter is given 520 and 512 that means radius 10 and 6 so we have to first select the center so how to select the center so radius for the outer circle is 10 millimeter so from the top here we have to take 10 millimeter distance and we have to select here the point so this will be the point and this is the center of that circular structure so by taking the same center we will complete the two circles now here the circular structure is getting completed so if we observe this diagram or three dimensional given object from the front then there is one slope and that slope what is the start and end point of this slope. So the start point that will be on the circles and the end point is this outer structure of the semicircle. So here at this corner there is the end point and here is the start point. So we will complete this. So here is the it is in the form of slope so in this way we have to complete it on the both side so this is getting completed now we have to project all the lines from the front view to the top view in vertically downward direction because this top view is getting vertically aligned with this front view so in this way all the outer points that is for this circle these are the outer points we have to draw this in the vertically downward direction in the same way for this semicircular structure also we have to draw the lines now if we observe this object from the top what we can clearly see we can clearly see there is the semicircular structure on both sides as well as there is the hole also so for this hole and semicircular structure on both sides of this object 
there is same center or this hole and the semicircular structure is the concentric so we have to select first that center so how to select this center so for the r15 semicircular that is radius of 15 millimeter of this semicircular structure is the center so we have to first take what is the r15 that means we have to select at this corner on the horizontal line 15 millimeter distance and we have to select one point in the same way on this vertical line we have to select the 15 millimeter distance and we have to select this point now from these two points draw the vertical and horizontal line so how to draw so this will be the uh, point of intersection will give us the center so we have to draw this horizontal and vertical line in the form of dash and dot So this point of intersection will give us the center. So it lies on the both side on the. So I will extend this horizontal line in the form of dash and dot on the other side also. Now here is also we have to select on this horizontal line 15 millimeter distance. And now we will draw here one vertical line passing through it. So here will be center. So these are the two centers. Now from this center we will draw here the semicircle as well as the small hole. So here it is given two holes of 512 that means R is 6 mm. So in the compass we have to take 6 mm distance and we have to complete the holes on the both sides. So here the structure on the both sides that is semicircular and the structure as well as holes are getting completed. Now what we can observe there is the construction at the top for the circular construction having the width. So this width is given that is 17 millimeter diameter. So we have to take the 17 millimeter width for this construction and we will select one point. So here up to this point only the circular structure is exist. So we have to select one point. So this is the point that is at the width of 17 millimeter and we have to draw one horizontal line passing through that point. So here with the help of the red marker I will draw one horizontal line passing through this point. So this is the width of the circular construction and that we have to draw. Now this is the width that is 17 millimeter. So what is the length for the circular construction? So here we have already projected the lines. So this is the outer line or this uh, outer circle line that I have already projected. Now we have to find out what are the intersection lines. So if we observe this is the width and what is the outer line. So if we observe this is the outer line. So from this point to this point the circular structure exists. So we have to show this with the help of construction line that means the dark lines. So in the exam the construction line should be dark. So here I have used the black marker for the dark lines and the projection line should be faint. So I have used here the red marker. So now we will select this outer line. So here is the projection of outer line. So now we have to draw this construction. So this is the structure. Now what we can see here. So this slope is having width 6 mm. So we have to take the 6 mm distance. So this 6 mm distance is at the, this outer edge. So from this edge we have to take the 6 mm distance and we have to select here the point. So there are two points. So what is the starting point and what is the end point? So for this width this is the starting point. So for this starting point from the starting point I have projected here one line. So here is the starting point. So I will take here. This is the starting point for that slope. So we will select this point. So these are the two points that we are we have selected. 
now what is the end point so end point is this point where this semi outer semicircular structure is there so from this point also here is the projection so here is the end point so this slope will start from this point to this point so here we have to show in this way this slope so from that 6 mm line width we have to take this projection so here in this area the slope is there having the width of 6 mm now if we observe there is the rib also so this rib is can we can clearly see from the front view so we have to draw here the rib so its a width is given that is 8 mm so from the center line on the both side we have to select the 4 mm points and passing through that point we have to draw this rib so how to draw where is the start point and end point that is important so from this outer circle there is the start point and for this outer semi circle there is the end point so we will draw this rib from the start point and end point of this structure so this is the construction line so we have to show this rib in this way now if we observe from the top this inside hole in the circular structure we cannot see in the same way we cannot see this semicircular inside structure but it exists now where it exists this semicircular structure so if we observe this diagram from this side this semicircular structure is there throughout the width so we have to show so how to show in the form of dash we have to show it so now where is the projection so this is the projection line so on this projection line in the form of dash we have to show this so here is the projection so in the form of dash throughout the width so this width is important now in the same way this hole this hole is also there but we cannot see from the top so we have to also extend this so here is the extension line for this hole so where is the construction so this construction width for this hole is up to this given 17 millimeter only so up to this point only there is the construction so we have to draw here line in the form of dash but this up to 17 millimeter only so in this way this structure is getting completed now we will project these small holes that these two holes that we can observe from the top view but in the front view we cannot see so we will first project the center line so this is the center line in the form of dash we will project here from the top view to the front view so here now we will project these small holes also so projection line should be faint so now i will project the end points of this hole so these holes are having height of 6 mm so in this construction area of this 6 mm we have to show these holes in the form of dash now in the same way we can see this rib from the top so here where is the starting point so starting point is from the outer circular construction and end point is for this outer semicircle is there so when we observe where is the start point of this rib in the form of width so when we consider the width the start point is after 17 millimeter of this construction of this circular structure so start point will be here and end point will be at this point so we have to show this so how to show this so we will extend this rib from the end point of this rib from the front view to the top view and the start point will be here after this 17 millimeter so this is the construction for this circular structure and after that from the top we can see here clearly this rib so we will show this now we will complete this so whenever whatever is the construction in this three dimension so we have to show with the help of the dark lines so i will complete this structure so here we have to show these dark lines 
so what is the construction that we can observe we will show with the help of the dark lines so now here the semicircle construction is getting completed so here also we have to show the dark line so this partition can be seen from the top this top view is getting completed now we will move to the side view so all the lines in the horizontal direction from front view to the to the side view are getting projected in the same way all the lines from this top view to the side view in this vertical directions are getting projected so if we observe this three dimensional object from this side what we can clearly observe so we can clearly observe there is the width of this slope so here is the slope so what is the start point and end point so this start point and end point are getting clearly projected and the width is clearly seen so this width is 6 millimeter so if we observe here is the projection of this width so now we have to just observe what are the intersection points and we will select these intersection points so what is the start point so here is the start point so I will select here is the start point and where is the end point. So here is the end point that is this edge of this outer semicircle structure. So this is the end point. So now I have selected these four points and what is the width. So here is the width and this width is getting projected. So on this projection line also these are the points. Now for these projected lines we will select this slope. So here this is the clearly seen the structure along this fourth point so we will join these four selected points so it is easy to draw the side view because it is just intersection of the lines from the front view as well as top view now in the same way if we observe there is the construction of this circular structure so here this width is there in the top view now here is the line of projection so if we observe this is the line of projection so i will select the point of intersection so on this line that is on this line we have to select the point so where is the circular structure so here from the front view this is the outer edge or outer line that is getting projected so here is the point of intersection and also here is the point of intersection and where is the starting point so starting point is from this edge so this outer edge so i will now complete this structure so this is the structure for this circular construction now in the same way if we observe there is the semicircular structure is also there so it is along the width so where it exists so this semicircular structure exists at this other edge that is at this edge so what is its uh, width so this width is full that is the 30 millimeter so along this 30 millimeter this semicircular structure exists so we have to show this so how to show this so now i will show it so we will just complete the block so all, all along its a length but uh, after this uh, before this semicircular structure this rib is clearly seen so we have to start the point of this structure after this rib only so here this semicircle structure can be clearly seen so this is the this is the structure for this semicircle now again we will concentrate on this rib so for this rib slope can be clearly seen so what is the start point and end point of this slope so here this is the start point that at the end of this so we will project this here so at this corner point that is at the end of this circular structure there is the start point and where is the end point so end point is at this semicircular structure so we have to complete this slope that is here is the start point and here is the end point so just join these two points so this is the slope so this slope is getting completed now this this is the construction that we can see clearly but what we cannot 
see clearly so this inside hole that exists but we cannot see clearly so what is the construction area so along this width we can see clearly so we have to show this in the form of dash now in the same way this semicircular structure this half semicircular or inside semicircular structure exist but we cannot see clearly so all along the whole width this inside semicircular structure exists so we have to show this so this is the projection line so all along this projection line we have to show this structure in the form of dash so this is the structure now if we observe here is again the small holes so this small hole exists but we cannot see so where this small hole exists so on the construction of this base this small hole exists so we have to show it so how to show it so this is the projection of the small holes so the small holes are having the same center so here is the center and these are the projection of the small hole so we have to show here so now he, what is its height so for the small holes the height is given 6 mm so here is the projection so from this point to this point only we have to show this so i will show here in the form of dash when we observe this object from this side then this height of 6 mm can be h for this h is clearly seen so we have to show with the help of the dark line or we can say construction line now we have to give the dimensions for this orthographic projection so for the holes we have to show the dimension in this way that is the two holes 5 12 then here is also the hole 5 12 then we have to show the arc for this semicircle that is r15 then again some dimensions for example the length for this rib that is 8 mm then for here there is slope also and the width is for there is also rib having width of 6 mm so we have to show or we have to give the dimension in this way so this is the orthographic projection that is getting completed for the given three dimensional object